How's it going everyone? Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm just an old man that likes to talk about shoes. And today we're going to have a look at the Asics Gel Light MT in Chestnut and Hunter Green. I've had this one sitting around for a while, but uh, finally broke it out of its box. And we're going to have a look at it today, see if we like it, see if we don't. Hope you guys enjoy. According to ASIC's own wording, this mid-top model is inspired by the mountains and designed for the streets. Alright, now if you're not familiar with these classic ASIC shoes, these are a mashup, a Frankenstein if you will, of the Gel Light 3, the Gel Light 5, and the Gel Respector models. The 3 on the upper and split tongue, the Respector on the upper and heel clip, and the 5 with the mono sock neoprene liner. I haven't owned a pair of these for a while, so it's always fun to get a refresher. And if you guys are looking to pick a pair of these up, they run from about $40 on clearance to around $300 for the more treasured colorways. Now I found this colorway on sale, giving me some Notre Dame vibes. It's not the best colorway of these shoes, but it's a shoe I don't really have to worry about. I can kick around in the muck, and not have to baby it too much. And I appreciate that in my life. The materials on this pair are a nice water resistant mix of leather, faux leather, ripstop, quilted nylon, and neoprene. Not much breathability on warmer days, that's for sure. Now you may be asking yourself, John, what is that leather zippered sheath on the front of the shoe? And it's really just a cover for the split tongue and neoprene monosock. A lot of layering going on here, folks. The insole is a thin, removable ortholite style joint, and this colorway gives you that camo hit. It's nice, I like it. Now I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling this green midsole. I like that color. The website says it's neutral, but that's about all they say, so I'm guessing a single density. Not sure of the foam, but it does have the gel inserts. The dual color outsole gives you some shallow style treads, and I've always liked the look of it as well. ASICS does really mix it up with their materials and colorways on their classics, so if you like this silhouette but prefer other materials, you should have no trouble finding something to your tastes out there. Now as far as fit is concerned, this shoe is narrow and snug due to the neoprene monosock. You will want to go a full size up for sure because these things definitely run small. Some say this shoe is uncomfortable and that really has nothing to do with the midsole. It has more to do with the narrow snug fit of the monosock and stiffness due to the overlaid panels, heel clip, and overall construction. For me, the only issues that I had was some tightness on the top of the foot and some rubbing from the neoprene booty on the back of my ankle. But after you wear them for a while, they break in pretty well and I have no issues walking my dog a couple miles a day in them. Of course, this isn't a long-term review, but those are my initial thoughts after revisiting them for a month or so. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Till next time, later. <laughs>